Well, a prophecy about Jerusalem. Yep, Jerusalem's turn. Yes, a prophecy against the vineyard of vision. What troubles you now that you have gone up towards the roofs? You town so full of contemption, you city of tormented and revile, you slain where not killed by the sword, nor did you, they die in battle. As for all our, no, yeah. All our leaders have fled together. They have been captive, captured without using the bow. All you have, no, all you who have, who were continent with taken pioneer, no prisoner together. Having fled while the enemy was still far away therefore I said turn my turn away from me and let my weeping barely do not try to console me over the dissolution destruction of my people Then now, verse four. No, this looks like a little eleven. And oh wait, no, that the prince of A's. I must be tired. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, has a day of term, torment, and trampling and terror in the valley of Vision. A day, bright. Bittering down wall, burning down wall, burying down walls, you know, whatever, and crying out to the mountain. <clears throat> Elm takes up the quiver with her chariots and horses. Kerr, K I R. Undis no, uncovers the sh shield. You chosen valleys are full of carrots, or chariots. A horsemen are posted in at the city gates. <clears throat> the Lord has stripped away the defenses of Judah, and you looked on that day. To the weapons of the palace of for of the forest, you saw that the walls of David of the city of David were broke through in many places. You stood up. You stored up water in the lower pool. You continued the building in buildings in Jerusalem and tore down houses to. Strengthen the wall. You built a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the old pool. But you did not look to the one who made it. Have you no? Have you or have you regarded the one who's plan it is to long ago the Lord Almighty called for and called you on that day to weep and to wail to tear out and your hair and to put on sackcloth but see there is joy and relatively slaughtering of cattle and killing of sheep 
eating meat and drinking wine, let us eat and drink, you say, for tomorrow we will we die. And the Lord Almighty has revealed this in anyway, in my heart no, in my hearing, my heart. Yeah, I don't know. Till morning, no, till your dying day, this sun, no, this sun will not be atoned for you, says the Lord, the Lord Almighty. This is what the Lord, the Lord Almighty says, Go stay to the steward, to Shenabura, S-H-E, B N A the palace administrator what are you doing here and who gave you permission to cut down you no know, to cut out the gra a grave for yourself here howing into the grave on the height you're chasing your resisting place on the rock, resting place on the rock. Beware the Lord is about to take hold, firm hold of your, of you and, uh, and hurt you anyway, you mighty men. I have to flip the page. Because there's more. He will rule, roll you up tightly like a ball, no ball, and throw you into a large country. There you will die, and there the chariots will war you were so proud of will become a disgrace to your master's house. I will despise you from your officials depose you from your officials and you will be out stood from your position in that day I will summon my servant Elikim E-L-I-A-K-A-M son of Hekari H-I-L-K-I-A-H I will close him with your robe and fasten your shash around him and your authority over him over to him he will be f a father to those who live in Jerusalem and to the people of Judah I will place his shoulder on his shoulder the key to the house of David what he opens no one can shut and what he shuts no one can open I will drive him like a plague through a firm place and he will become a seat or a throne of honor for the house of his father all the glory of his family will hang on him its offspring and off shoots all its lesser vessels from the bowels to the to the from the bowls to the jars in that day declares the Lord Almighty the peg driven into the firm place will give way it will be shattered sheared off and will fall and the load hanging on it will be cut down the Lord has spoken.